What's going on? Boss here again. This time for episode 7 of The Eminence in Shadow. Last time we had more uh, shenanigans with Sid, of course. Uh, we also continued like, the storyline of somebody impersonating Shadow Garden. And we, you know, kind of disposed of some like lower level pieces. But there seems to be more going on in the background because we saw a couple other characters um, kind of plotting. So we'll see where that all goes. There's also this artifact that the princess um, and the gang are trying to kind of get to the bottom of. So they brought in, uh, I'm trying to remember her name, I forgot her name, girl with the pink hair. She's supposed to be like a really bright mind, probably one of the greatest minds they have. So she got brought in and Sid also gave her a chocolate. So we'll see what develops out of that, if anything. Because we already know uh, Alexia wanted to stay in a relationship with Sid. So maybe, you know, he's growing. He has his, you know, assassin harem that, you know, they're crazy, super strong, down to kill. And maybe he'll have a school harem <laughs> where he's just like, you know, oh, I can't even say normal girls, just, just girls. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see what happens next um, and where we go from here. Sign. Is that low size? <laughs> she ain't still haven't eaten any of them. You will melt, man. There you go. No, she's still gonna analyze it. <laughs> her dad explained to her, yeah. <laughs> First chocolate, how is it? A blush? Okay, that's how you eating it? All right. Oh, but she just be following her? Okay, we got section in the Code of Diablos. Is he paying attention? <laughs> just enter this man into a tournament out of nowhere? Alright. Then they both got beat up. <laughs> She's trying to give you all this backstory about <laughs> the cult. And she gonna take his words to mean something else? Rex. Is he gonna be in this tournament too? Yo, they're talking about two separate things. She's new too, so she's like, oh, okay. So this is what it's like. She had a tragic backstory too? Of course. Is that Rex? Oh no, that's Homeboy. Yup. Sid's sister just dominating. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, betting? Of course. Okay, you're gonna get a student council president. They hyped her up a little bit. Oh, top swordsman? Okay. Let's see the foolishness he, he's going to employ. Alright, let's see the foolishness. Speed. <laughs> of course he could have killed her, but there's more. Yo, this guy. Background character techniques. Yo, he folded himself. Oh, this idiot. <laughs> Yo, this, this man's extreme. Yo, he's going... <laughs> he's doing the most. He's going to do all his background character techniques. Again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's gonna realize, right? And he's gonna keep getting up. Yo. <laughs> Imagine watching that. You're gonna make yourself too famous from that, though. Yo, that move is scary. I should probably do something serious now. Ruff was like, no, 
Stop. <laughs> Give him a stretcher. He's in shock. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, they said this man's in shock. Get him out of here quick. They wrapped him up like that? For what reason? They're not real doctors. Sheen Love. Drinking tea. Oh, she made some cookies. There you go, dog. Of course, he's misunderstanding. Oh, that's her dad right there. Oh, at least he knows her name. He's done her research. He's hyping up, though, <laughs> but also telling him that she had no friends. Is she even, like, researching anymore? She's all about Sidna. Uh oh. Jealousy. Oh, she's short. Oh, she has a picture of Sid. Oh, it's hidden in the back, though. Yo, she put mad sugar and milk. She was just talking about that. <laughs> Like it's sweet. She got a sweet tooth now. Oh wow. <laughs> Ask about romance questions. Is she gonna be triggered? Uh oh. She's she's hiding it. <laughs> she's gonna be going off the deep deep end now. Study your hand. Uh oh, <laughs> don't go in there yet. He's saying that he's a background character, but he's literally the only one, well, other than his friend, that's not wearing the exact uniform. And his grip strength when you have magic? Look at him, dedicated. Oh, there's the, the knight we saw last episode. That's the artifact, right? Or is something different? No, I think it's a different one. Dang, attacking the school straight up. Alright. Time to be Shadow. She's not going to be able to enter. There's blood? Uh oh. What's happening? Can't use magic. Ah. Oh. You want to fight with their physical strength? Guys trying to attack. Oh wow, using the Shadow Garden name. Okay, President. Can't use your magic. But nah. We have Shadow here. Are you good? Don't worry about it. The eminence. Oh, he's going to act acting stupid like he got cut. Another girl to the harem? Yo, yo, his blood is extra, bro. So, like, when he's okay, what are you going to say? <laughs> oh, that's Zeta, right? We haven't really seen her that much, have we? I don't think so. Alright, so that was episode 7 of The Eminence in Shadow. That episode, we kind of, you know, continue on. I guess this is a kind of arc around Sherry, um, based off her, I'm guessing. Well, it's a little bit of everybody we've met so far, in the school at least, because Alexia is there too. And um, we had a little bit of tournament. We also met the, the student council president, um, Rose. And, uh, of course... She got matched up with Sid, and since Sid wants to be a background character, he, you know, he developed his own skill set of secret background character techniques so that he can play the role perfectly. Uh, of course, there's more misunderstandings in this. 
and where they thought this man was getting killed, but he kept getting back up. And they're like, yo, this man is really determined. And he, he earned a lot of respect that day without his knowledge. And of course, Sherry, um, I think she likes him. And so she's like, she's trying to develop that relationship. And Alexia, too, <laughs> found out about it. So we had a funny scene with those two. Um, and then at the end of the episode, the school was under attack. Um, they used some kind of uh, gem or something to kind of like shut off the magic. Well, for the students, at least. It seems that the people that were attacking were able to use theirs still. And then Sid sacrificed himself. The ultimate sacrifice, you know. He was a good, he had a good run as the main character, but I guess we're going to have to move on now. Uh, maybe Shadow will come out <laughs> and save Sid. <laughs> Acting like they're not the same person. <laughs> but I'm curious to see, like, I'm guessing he's going to get taken away somewhere or something. And then he can be Shadow. And then he can save the day. But, like, the next... Next day when school's back in session, he's not going to be dead. But I guess they can just say they saved him or something. I don't know. There's, there's going to be some excuse and it's going to work out because, of course, it's going to work out. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, good episode. I'm guessing we're going to get a lot more action now. Um, switching from like more comedy-based to more action-based starting next week. And, yeah, I'm excited to see. So, until then.